Trigger King RC, your leader in RC monster truck action. Event number four, racing bracket number one for Sport Mod. This is our middle of the road class, 17 turn brushed motors. We take a look at qualifying highlights, Barefoot Racer in third, Black Pearl in second, and leading the charge as our number one qualifier, Xbox Bigfoot, Bob C. Chandler. You see the top six in the nine second range, everybody else 10 seconds and above. We'll have to see how it all plays out on the track as we get into round number one of action. This will be our first glimpse at how these faster the trucks light. handle this small, compact track compared to our retros, which we've already seen. A little bit slower. Sport Mod's a fast class and getting faster. And trouble with the speed for Mad Scientist missing the last ramp and the win goes to Chain Reaction. Our second pair equalizer into the number 25 seed against number eight, Rotten Apple Two. The number eight in trouble. It tightens up on the final straightaway, but in the end, equalizer pulls away and moves to round number two. All right, drivers ready? Watch the, is Bob good? Sorry, yeah. all right, drivers ready? Watch the light. Pony Express, Isaac Ankrum. We've seen that truck as a retro before, but it's been upgraded to sport mod for this season. Taking out the newcomer, John Wald in the Mortician. This is his rookie season with Trigger King. Yeah. The number 13 right. fallout, ready? Chris Hackinson and Grave Digger 16, Andy Salerno. Two newcomers this year as well. A number of rookies on the series. Hackinson looking good and taking the win. Roadhog and Skull Bandit. Yeah. Solano ready. right back yep. up on the line in the Skull Bandit against Roadhog. Iron Aaron James. Each driver allowed two truck entries in this class. We've seen both of Aaron James's trucks and right. Andy Salerno. Fury, you have choice over Roadhog with yeah. Aaron James takes the win. Drivers ready? Yeah. Watch the light. One of our veterans, Chris Blank and Orange Fury facing off with Mike Bufka in the Savage, which is a truck owned by Chris Hackinson. First time driver goes down and Orange Fury takes the win. Right back up on the line, you'll notice a theme with Blank. He's right, an orange ready. sort of fellow. Watch orange light. Thunder on the line against the brand new Chris Hackinson built Pink El Toro Le Loco. We've been calling it Pinkalicious, and Pinkalicious takes the victory. He's good with that truck. What is that? <laughs> Driver's ready? Back on the scene, you Watch know what I light. mean? Bigfoot, eight. Josh Rhodes back on the Trigger King circuit, facing off against Doug Welker and Rotten Apple. No rust on Rhodes, he takes the win in Bigfoot eight. Those lights are illegal. Our final pair in <laughs> round right. number one, Driver's number ready? 11, Buffalo Trimmer Watch and light. number 22, Monster Patrol, Mike Bufka. Bufka with an all custom chassis tube truck against the ACRC Havoc of Buffalo Trimmer. Trimmer. Well, Mike, if we were drag racing, you'd have got him. And like that, we're moving into round Driver's number ready? two of action. Watch the light. Moving through the bracket. Number one, Xbox Bigfoot against Chain Reaction. Oh, and Chain Reaction. Big issues right neck and neck with Bigfoot to the first corner. And then it was all over but the crying. Pony Express, you have choice over Equalizer. I was just, I was this is funny.
Next up, Equalizer, Chris Parrish, the number 25 qualifier, the lowest qualifier still remaining in the bracket in round number two against Pony Express, the number nine. Equalizer looking solid and taking the victory, moving to round number three from the low seed. Number four, Bigfoot Destination against Chris Hackinson Driver, and ready? Fallout. Watch the light. Hackinson prepped and ready and off to a quick start, but a great slow turn for Bob C. Chandler and Destination. It's tight. Oh, wow. Collision and calamity on the final straightaway. Bigfoot Destination in the lane of his competition fallout and making contact. Are you ready? Driver? He loses by disqualification. Watch the light. Roadhog and Taurus to ACRC Havoc chassis trucks. Taurus tied up on the Jersey Barriers in the corner, charging for the finish line. It wasn't pretty for Roadhog at the finish, but he made it across the finish line for the win. Number two, Black Pearl, Josh Rhodes, and Orange Fury. Chris Blank, the number 15. The quick corner off that second obstacle giving the drivers fits, but not as much as that Jersey Barrier just gave Chris Blank a fit in the Orange Fury, handing the win to the Black Pearl. Drivers ready? Watch the light. Pinkalicious Loco and Brodozer. El Toro Loco taking the victory easily as Brodozer upset and upside down well this is an epic Driver rivalry ready? barefoot racer Watch and bigfoot eight Rhodes versus parish Rhodes off to a quick start parish wide and barefoot racer they're neck and neck oh and bigfoot eight. oh wow look at that trouble for everybody barefoot racer takes the victory at the line loses a wheel bigfoot eight Wadded Driver's up ready. and crashed at the finish Watch line. The what a race. Our final pair, Buffalo Trimmer versus Jester. Oh, wow, it was tight coming to the finish line. Jester had a big lead. Trimmer closed it up, but Jester takes the win. Round three. Xbox Driver's Bigfoot ready? against Watch Equalizer, light. the 25 qualifier. These guys are rivals on the track, and it's going to be neck and neck. They're close. Oh, a bad landing for Equalizer. And Xbox holds him on his hip, moving to the final four. Hackinson in Fallout on the line, getting the truck Driver's all ready? set and ready, getting himself ready. Aaron Janes in the other lane with Roadhog. Flinging up some dust. Fallout takes the victory over Roadhog. Our next pair on the line. Number two, Black Pearl, and number 10, El Toro Loco. Watch light. Black Pearl, brand new truck, a TLR Losi LMT. But the brand new El Toro Loco from Chris Hackinson takes him down. Our final pair in round number three, Barefoot Racer and Jester. The three six matchup. They're neck and neck. Big issues for Barefoot, know. checking up before the final obstacle to avoid like a penalty. And we're going to the TK replay. Barefoot charging down that final straightaway, out of shape, checking up for the final obstacle. And Jester is charging, momentum on his side. And I think Jester is going to take this. Jester flies past him in the air for the victory and the berth in the know. semifinals. That looked like Final four, semifinals. Number one, Xbox. Number 13, Fallout. Right. Fallout proving that the number 13 Driver's is ready. not bad luck. 
He's riding it to the semifinals, but can he get past Bigfoot? Xbox, Bob Chandler, one of the toughest in the series. The answer's no wow, for today. Like His day will come, power. but it's not this day. Our final pair, Hackinson right back up on the line, doing well today. El Driver's Toro ready. Loco and Jester, Mark Gherkin. El Toro off to a big lead down the front straightaway. Jester closing it back up. A great turn by El Toro Loco and Pinkalicious heads to the finals. All right, Xbox and El Toro, one verse 10. This is it, finals time. The number one qualifier is there, but on the other side of the bracket, it's the number 10, El Toro Driver's Loco. Ready. Xbox and El Toro. The light. This is the second finals for Hackinson since well. joining Trigger King. A better showing than the first time, but out of shape in that first Xbox. corner. And that's all it takes for Bob C. Chandler and Xbox Bigfoot to take the victory, seizing the moment and the opportunity. So with that, Chandler sets the tone for Sport Mod in this fourth event. We'll see what comes in the second bracket of Sport Mod next time out with the Sport Class. We'll see if he can take the overall event for the day. Taking a look at the points, it's tight at the top. Three trucks separated by one point. Three different drivers. It's exciting. It's going to be wild all season long, I believe. We thank you for joining us on Trigger King RC TV. Join us next time. We'll see you then.